May this message reach everyone that needs it. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. Grand Rising family, welcome to your Monday the 6th True Love Journey Daily message. Um, I just meditated with Quan Ying. I posted that meditation on the community board. And it was beautiful, so beautiful. I wanted to share that with you guys. I actually even pulled her deck out so we can get a message from Quan Ying since I just uh, strongly meditated with Quan Ying. Um, I'm going to use the water alchemy today. I was guided to it even when I did the Aquarius reading. I got a message from Spirit that I'm on the verge of, I got a warning message saying I'm on the verge of uh, burnout that I need to take, I need to prepare and take time to recharge. I do, uh, I am planning on finishing up the um, bonuses as well as starting May, May readings. I'm starting it this week, family, so look out for that. I just need to get my energy recharged and replenished, um, but all in divine perfect timing, divine perfect order. Uh, all right, so let's go. I want to thank everyone for being here. Thank you for liking, for sharing, for subscribing, for donating to the channel, for sending decks. This was actually a gift from one of you guys for scheduling your personal readings with me. The information will be in the description box below. Thank you for commenting below. Every time you guys interact with the channel, it helps the message to reach more people. That's how our community grows. That's how we can support each other. So thank you so much for taking the time to do that. That's how you can support me as well. So I love you guys. Thank you. Remember to take only what resonates and leave the rest for others. Use your discernment and your intuition. Um, and when I say they, this person, I could be talking about you. So place yourself where you go, a family in the reading, okay? And uh, all right. So let's see here what we have for the collective. What is the energy? What is the message for the collective for Monday the 6th? angels and spirit guides for our beautiful family we have blessings wow and steam interesting that actually came out for the aquarius reading i did i'll read it again and then we have hail holy moses holy moses okay i did get a download uh, i'm gonna read it in a bit for you guys throughout the reading you know if i um get called to read it i will but we have steam blessings and hail hail means a brace for impact that's what hail means okay so uh i love this blessing card this blessing card is saying that you are sacred you are beautiful oh wow i opened right to it i can't make this stuff i opened right to it family i can't make this stuff up so we have blessing steam and hell that came through here hell like I said, hell represents bracing for impact. Steam is talking about there is a fire that's coming up within you. This uh, could be Monday. You could have this bracing for impact, this sudden event here taking place for you Monday, family. Okay, but again, if you guys are guided to this reading due to the title, energy is fluid and time is an illusion. So whenever you get this, there's a message in here for you. This is also talking about using any kind of anger energy that you have as fuel, as motivation to create in your life. But you are sacred is the message. You are being showered with the grace of the goddess, open to, div to receive divine dispensation, dispensation of her holy light. If you have drawn this card, you are a code carrier and hold the templates for the new earth in your DNA. Wow, beautiful. Um, every step you take on this earth is a blessing when you understand you are not separate from the divine, but that it is a living part of everything in existence, yourself included. You begin to claim your mastery, walk the earth as though you are a saint or an angel. So we're talking about earth angels here. So you're an earth angel basically is what this is saying, spreading blessings wherever you go. And know that you are actively participating in the evolution of humanity. Whether you know it or not, you are important and you deserve to treat yourself and your life as sacred. Make life one big, huge, moving prayer. Family is the energy. And like I said, I just finished. Interesting that this is here because it says uh, you are you are being showered with the grace of the goddess i just finished man, man uh, meditating with kuan ying definitely check out that meditation that i post on the community board so much so that i was guided to kuan ying's deck here 
I want to read to you guys Steam. Because this actually just came out for the Aquarius Collective. So if you have Aquarius in your chart, definitely go check it out. Even if you don't have Aquarius in your chart, Aquarius does represent the collective family. So we, you know, we are in uh, the age of Aquarius right now. Pluto uh, is retrograde. Um, I don't know if it's retrograde in Aquarius or Capricorn. I think it's retrograde in Aquarius right now. So, you know, uh, heavy on the Aquarius energy for the collective. So definitely check out that reading. It's uh, the weekly reading that I just did. We have hail that that actually opened up to that page next. So that that's next. <laughs> that's 12. And then we have 14, number 20 here. Uh, sudden impact. Brace yourself. You may be in for a sudden shock. Whether you perceive this swift action from the universe as a welcome experience or not, know that it will ultimately bring positive growth. Just like every single change or experience that we go through, okay, or challenge, right? This may not be something, you know, uh, that's, that's to, it's definitely, it's definitely for your best and highest good. Definitely not something you should be afraid of. This is like a tower moment, okay? I, normally when this card jumps for my energy, um, it's usually a nice surprise. It, it is a shock and it is something I wasn't expecting and um, it's always you know a breakthrough or a revelation or i just a, a nice surprise so let's see we'll we'll see as we continue to pull cards if if the universe will reveal spirit will reveal to us what this is about we have embrace your fire it's time to release your inner fire power anger is a valid human emotion when used in a measured way your anger can be harnessed as a powerful force for good so let's see um when we suppress our feelings instead of calmly and firmly stating our needs the emotions can become pent up and then blast out of us like an uncontrollable firework when we least expect it or worse still they may develop into physical issues or even illnesses get into the habit of Stating your true needs and speaking up with love. Wow, that's why that makes sense. Why this came out for Aquarius and Aquarius. And it also we got for the Aquarius Collective to speak up, to speak up, to express, set boundaries, speak your needs. If you're confused, get the clarity, speak up, right? So you can get the clarity that you need. Um, speak your needs, speak what you want. Uh, set your, with love, right? With love. Uh, don't suppress or repress anything, any of your emotions, because you can blow up, right? Uh, take your time and think things through before reacting. Respond versus react. Take a pause if you need, right? To reflect before responding. Tempering yourself, right? Tempering your energy. That also came out. Temperance card came out for the Aquarius Collect. Try not to hold on to disagreements and practice forgiving forgiveness for yourself and other another energy that came out also the reason why i'm saying that is because this energy came out for the aquarius collective was the defensiveness energy uh surrendering defensiveness defensiveness is a sign of weakness it is what it is except what is right and um when when we feel like we need to it's like lowering your defenses okay and being open to other perspectives listening and learning from others as well is really important i actually want to read uh go back to hail real quick because i was guided to to read um be like hell nothing in life stays fixed as we live in a very trans transient and changeable world Stay grounded and centered as often as possible so any sudden disruptions does not derail you. Similar to a bubble and droplet, place yourself within a protective uh, spherical hailstone so any troubles slide off of you like water off a duck's back. On the flip side, ask yourself where you may be hiding or keeping yourself small for the fear of others' reactions to you. Why not let yourself make an impact? So it feels like it's looking like <laughs> somebody here is getting ready to uh, express themselves, right? And it can make an impact, okay? You're about to make an impact as you embrace your fire. Is that what it says here? Embracing your fire, making an impact, okay? Could be sudden for you. You may, you know, 
express yourself that's going to create some kind of a change or somebody is here um I, i'm loving it let's see and it's probably going to be a shock to you because i am getting that here okay of you know somebody not holding not holding something in here i want to get a message from um Kuan yang interesting because the tower uh jumped earlier today as well I, I got five 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 angel number on on the five five portal so yeah there's a change there's something changes ahead the aquarius collective got there's a wave this week so I feel like when you do communicate clearly it does create waves it creates a change in the in the frequency and the energy and the, a, sh a shift Quan Yin let's get a message from Quan Yin I'm smiling right now because I just did that meditation and it was uh remarkable it was really wonderful it was a compassion and a heart opening and a heart healing uh, a, a cleansing of the heart area I, you know you guys know that I have been on this journey of opening my heart healing my heart clearing my heart you know um so that i can love again fall in love again and uh and preparing myself to do so and and open myself up to it that's why i felt such a strong energy of uh us dropping our defenses right feeling more safe to open up and express ourselves uh, allowing ourselves to be more vulnerable not suppressing or repressing our emotions you know uh it's really important that we do that because it's really going to help here with the as you are a sake as you are sacred <laughs> here it's going to help you as an earth angel to help to heal help with the ascension and the raising of the consciousness of the planet and the collective uh, okay Guan Yin, what is the message here for the collective at this time Discernment empowers you to make choices that are aligned with your intentions, like a fierce sounding flute, cutting through all vibrations with purity and intent. Your discernment allows you to stay true to your values without getting caught up in distractions, to grow spiritually through love, joy, peace, and abundance. Make high vibrational choices that feel good to you. There's the image right there make high vibrational choices that are true to you i want to get one more sometimes i just looked at this so i'm getting guided to read it to you guys sometimes we must be strong and hold true while all all around us seems to be shifting and changing right the yellow tiger mother Kuan Yin, in her guardian role is roaring within you reminding you that you are a powerful being of light and even while you are in flow with universal forces your strong roots grounding your energy help you to stand your ground as your light shines through that's what i'm feeling is uh i'm actually not gonna pull anymore that's what i'm feeling here is the energy oh we for monday <laughs> let's go spirit what else we have for monday I can't help but look at this fireworks card here at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> what else we got for Monday for a beautiful collective? I already said my prayer family. What else we have for Monday? Got here the magician here. Asserting asserting your, your will. I'm also getting... Uh, embracing your creative gifts, your talents, taking action, communication as well. There it is. There it is. Well, kaboom. <laughs> the hail energy. Sudden, sudden impact. Oh, this is exciting. I don't look at it with fear, right? Like, oh God, what now? You know, look at it as exciting because something that's been stagnant or stuck or it's divine intervention. It's the change, right? It's the change that is needed right now and it's time for that and sometimes when we don't leap when we don't take the action when we're guided to take we sometimes we get the help right from the universe okay i'll have something in my eye all right angels and spirit guides what's the message for the collective here for monday 
Yeah, temperance, tempering yourself, going with the flow right now, having a lot of harmony, balance, peace, and patience in your life. Also, soulmate, reunion, reconciliation. There's a merging. There's a balance within a healing. Okay, a peace. Again, earth angel energy here. Earth angel energy. Twin flame energy. There's the tower again at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, it's the end of this. We reached the... the, the the finish line the finish line we're, we're going through a huge release okay a rebirth energy uh yeah somebody's uh stability it, it's like a reconfiguration or a restructuring here of someone's foundation okay it's like you finally got came into harmony and balance within and now the universe is bringing into balance and into alignment let's continue Patience is paying off. This is a time for healing. Uh, you know, going within and just going with the flow and moderating yourself. Anger here, right? Remember, my, when you do communicate clearly, you release a lot. What else do we have here for the collective? Oh my God, another major arcana, judgment. Answering the call. Angels, the angels are surrounding you right now. You're protected during this shift, during this transition, during this change. This is a huge release and a breakthrough, a wake-up call even for somebody, a, a, a decision that's being made. Be it's like a handling something gracefully, handling the changes gracefully as well. Very poised energy. This is alignment. Someone here is in alignment. Alignment energy. There's a manifestation coming in. It feels like a second. This is judgment is talking about a rebirth. It's talking about a second chance. Releasing when you release judgment of yourself and others, right? And you, you know, review the past, do an evaluation of the past, and you forgive yourself, forgive others. Your karma is rubbed off of you, you know. And it's like somebody here is going through a huge, um awakening a rebirth but also a release and it's bringing a lot of someone's feeling more peaceful in their energy more peace more alignment and this is the energy that's magnetizing wow holy Moses this is the energy that's magnetizing your wishes you're in this beautiful energy of self-love feeling fulfilled in your own life Content and fulfilled emotional independence, feeling peace within yourself after you you going through this this you know this rebirth, feeling light on your feet, feeling passion ignited, kundalini rising. <laughs> passion is being ignited here. I did see fireworks earlier. This is fireworks. This is you know inspiration, create a spark. You know, a call to action here, okay, on this leap of faith. Remember I said, when you're called to take action on something, this is like feeling inspired to take action on something here, okay? To take action to get your wish. The One of the highest forms of prayer is action. Is that is that how you say it? Um, is that is that is that how is that how it's said spirit the highest form of prayer is action or action is the highest form of prayer something like that uh what else we have oh holy moses another yeah it's it's good it's monday it's only monday <laughs> oh my god Woo kaboom all over the place <laughs> Three major arcanas from Monday already off the bat. And we have two Scorpio energies, Sagittarius energy here. Look at the bigger picture. A spirit still told me to say, look at the bigger picture. Um, transformation, rebirth, <laughs> a major change. Okay, a transition, a new beginning, an ending, a release here that's leading to a new beginning. Okay, that is a beautiful, the holy grail of love, the cup of love that comes from God. This is the, you know, uh, self-love cup as well. Someone's feeling like uh, a lot of emotion and a lot of love, like an like outpouring of abundance and love. Psychic abilities is increased as well. This is fresh energy. This is new feelings of love, a new beginning in love, family. 
a new opportunity in love even. Let's go ahead and keep that. Oh, look what we have. Our friend here is at the bottom of the deck. A friend that never leaves, that never fully goes away, right? We just have to be aware of them and not let and not let this energy defeat us. This energy will always try to come in and defeat us, especially when we're going through this blessing, blessing, huge change, huge transition, huge elevation, ascension. Oh, we are code carrier. You could be a catalyst here for people's healing and transformation, okay? Your love, your big love. My gosh, is your love so big. You have the biggest heart. Biggest heart here. Light, I'm talking to earth angels, light workers, okay? Healers, empaths, intuitives, sensitives here. Again, a sacred, sacred beings. You are truly sacred. You are always going to be taken care of protected and divinely guided so you can feel safe to take these steps that you're guided to take in your life so um yeah we i feel like we are defeating this energy here you look you're looking at the at the devil within you and external to you right in the face right in the eyes and saying i wish you would i wish you would try to stop me and block my blessings from coming i'm ready for you right so we're surrendering here. We're not, we're not letting that. We're very clear on what this energy is within us and outside of us. And we're not, look, we're moderating, right? We're not, we're healing. We're healing addictions, codependencies, right? That's what we're, we're aware. We're aware and we're freeing ourselves from this energy once and for all. We're making healthier choices, making healthier choices. And these healthier choices that we're making for ourselves internally and externally for our personal development, personal growth is creating the transformation here. Can you please clarify temperance? Wow. Look at this. Look at this rising from the ashes energy. Look at this. Uh, the sun is out. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness another major leo energy here solar plexus as well you guys uh could you know benefit from doing a solar plexus guided meditation brian scott meditative mind um but yeah the sun is coming up we're finally being freed from this suffering uh trauma trauma healing okay we're putting a final nail in the coffin um from the past we're being freed from the past uh once and for all it's like a rising here, a rising th th from the ashes, uh, rebirth. And I'm getting, I'm getting, you know, uh, r rising in your true nature of being, you know, it, it's like this. It's like you're, uh, I don't know. I'm seeing the image of you coming, you're going through this like horrific ending and you're like down and out but you're 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 rising as an angel that's the image that i saw when i got quiet for a second there that's what i was seeing you know uh, and we have the sun a lot of healing a lot of balance you're finally feeling peace and relief tell me you freed yourself here with a judgment card there's a final ending wow look at this two of cups energy with the star card hello i kept talking about aquarius energy why that's important look at this new beginning relief this is relief we're finally leaving it behind the darkness the shadow the pain the sub we learned from this the, the 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 ten of swords is not a bad card it's a card that says we're finally done with this it's the end number 10 of this very you know traumatic experience we have been healing and ascending and releasing from this um, and we're moving towards calmer waters, towards the sun, towards peace and relief, towards our new beginning, Ace of Pentacles, towards genuine, authentic, true, pure, healing, love, emotional connection, soulmate connection that's very healing with somebody you have compatibility with, that you see eye to eye with, right? And uh, this is a card of reunion and reconciliation. It could be you uh, finally coming, healing from trauma um or this person in your energy finally closing something out in their life officially and finally is restoring their balance within themselves the harmony and the and the peace within themselves and you know flowing right uh in transition here moving towards their new beginning 
Faith is being restored. Faith is being restored. Hope has been restored. Lots of compassion. Lots of healing here. Okay. That actually this was here like this moving away from, um, you know, shame, guilt, remorse, regret, grief, suffering, pain, you know, from this trauma that you, that you were pinned down for a long time from it, healing your heart, compassion, right? This is an empath and empaths, if they're not empowered, you know, or not in, uh, if they are in operating from trauma, the empath can be a, a target for not the best, you know, uh, high vibrational energy, right? Because of the light and the love that these lower vibrational energies are seeking and needing. And they can really drag and bring down the empath, the earth angel, you know, and really hurt the earth, the, the earth angel. It's like we're lear we learn from that. We learn how to set boundaries. There's so much healing here in the heart area, opening of the heart. Uh, this is uh, the queen of cups and when the queen of cups is not empowered and healed the queen of cups can be victimized okay so somebody could be in regret about that about treating the queen of cups like the queen of cups you know using taking advantage taking a queen of cups for granted you know hurting uh putting the queen of cups in, in third party situations and things like that but, but i don't want to talk too much about that we're we're you know coming out of that energy this is a an energy of renewal rejuvenation inspiration hope faith healing wishes coming true aligning with our north star um ascending into our higher self right connecting with the universe uh, going through the spiritual awakening a lot of healing here that's taking place wishes are coming true uh because of our faith because of you know we didn't lose hope right and um and here we are moving towards this ace of pentacles the ace of pentacles in a love uh reading is really is talking about planting you planted the seed right you planted the seed that the universe gave you and now it's like we have two people here on the same page, emotionally connected, spiritually connected, strong telepathy here. Okay. And, um, it's like the rain, it's like you merging, merging the fire and the water is merging. Okay. You guys have merged spiritually. And, um, and this is like the beginning stages, the cornerstone of the Pent Ten of Pentacles, right? It's like, we have this opportunity to plant this seed, but it's important that for it to grow into the Ten of Pentacles that we invest, we nurture it, we water it, we put, you know, time, energy, and effort into it. Tell me about judgment. Clarify judgment. Second chance, family. You get a second chance. Redemption, resurrection, a new life. Tell me about judgment here. Interesting. The sound of the fierce flute, even though this, this is a trumpet though, discernment, using discernment empowers you to make choices. Judgment is a choice, a life choice, an important life choice that are aligned with your true intentions for yourself and your heart's desire. Like a fierce sounding flute cutting through all vibrations with purity and intent, making sure that your intentions is pure, right? Say so you are sacred, pure intentions. So it's like, this is like an energy here of, you know, now you're moving towards what is more balanced for you. What's harmonious, right? What's harmonious, what's balanced, because we learned from this. We're finally freed from this pain. Uh, your discernment allows you to stay true to your values without getting caught up in distraction. To grow spiritually with love, through love, joy, peace. And abundance here. This is peace. This is a lot of abundance. Clarify judgment. Oh my gosh. King Dangling. Here comes the <laughs> let me stop. <laughs> I, was about, <laughs> I was about to go there. Spirit said, no, 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 no. <laughs> we have uh King Dingling holding his wand, right? Making a huge decision right now, going through their awakening. Okay, they've been activated. I heard they've been activated. Their heart chakra has been activated because of this love, this healing love. Okay, somebody wants to get to know you and learn. This is beginner's mind taking the first step, inexperienced energy. 
but I'm open to studying. I'm open to learning. I'm open to getting to know you. Someone's inspired. Okay. I'll read, I will read the, um, the, the thing that I got the download. Okay. So, uh, I got, when you break the, okay, you can break the pattern once you realize how you're mirroring each other here, okay? If you're both in resistance energy, then you can take the lead and alchemize the energy and surrender to your heart's guidance, right? And intuition and discernment. If you're both trying to control the connection, uh, uh, if you're both trying to control the connection, you have the ability to take the lead in the situation and make it stop and, and come back to the flow, okay? Like releasing the resistance, right? And following what your heart and your intuition, your discernment is guiding you to do. So it's like you could be mirroring each other by both being in control. It could be mirroring each other by both being in resistance energy, right? Um, there's another another way that I, that, I, that I saw and heard today through spirit how you could be mirroring this person as well. Okay, I, I'm, I also got, if this is somebody that you know from the past, right? This person could be still expecting the old version of you or seeing you through those lens, right? Expecting you to react and respond and do the things that you used to do. And, and I feel like this person is needing to see and accept you in this new form that you're in and this transformed more uh high vibrational uh that has more self-love more self-worth more wisdom more enlightened form right and what i'm saying you could be mirroring each other because you could be seeing this person in the same light as their old as the old versions of themselves you know thinking that they're going to show up you know uh a certain way like they always have when they're also working on changing <laughs> you know it's like giving them a chance to show you that um they are trying and they are making changes um that's the breakthrough that i got but uh with seeing this page here energy and that's and seeing this king of wands again here is the king of wands feeling inspired remember we we got that message just saying they feel uh this connection here inspires and overwhelms them right like they're inspired to take the action. They're inspired to heal, to grow, to ascend, to learn, to evolve. But they get overwhelmed, you know, um, on how to begin or where to start. So they're like in beginner's mind, learning, curious to learn about how they can feel more balanced, more aligned and more peaceful as well. Okay, the King of Wands in the last reading that we saw and the King of Wands is back. So this person is feeling, still feeling the passion that's being ignited within them, right? They, they feel, like I said, uh, inspired and overwhelmed that I got that they're inspired to do the work. They're, they're inspired to do the work, but overwhelmed about where to begin and how to, how to, and how far they still have to go when it comes to doing the inner work. But the King of Wands is competitive, is fearless, brave, courageous, uh, not afraid to make moves. Okay. In the lower vibration, it can be a Charma, a Casanova, right? Got to watch out for this energy here when they're not vibrating very high because they can wear a mask be ego driven you know uh, want a lot of attention right can be cocky and 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 e e prideful and egoic and uh player type of energy when they're not uh, you know in their higher self which is a judgment card which i'm seeing this person is in their higher self because they're going through a heart chakra activation okay this uh king is a leader this king is driven ambitious talented creative passionate about life spiritual gifted talented a true leader they could have a, a career where they are they're playing a leadership role in their career okay people look up to this energy they are influencers and very charming so it really took this person you know some time here for them to believe in themselves so this person here is fired up they're feeling hopeful they're feeling hopeful. Uh, they're excited. I'm getting, I'm getting excited energy from this King of Wands. Tell me more. Can I have one more in this King of Wands in judgment? Yeah. This person here is coming out of feeling, you know, there's, there's the offer. There's the cup. Okay. They're seeing the cup there. They have awakened to the cup. They know about the connection family. They know about the spiritual connection that you have. Okay. They know about Let me just do this real quick. Yeah, look at this. 
success confidence i feel like this person struggles with that okay so this person here wow look at that the pentacles coming in the more we release right and we free ourselves from this past being pinned down from this past trauma uh, we're rising here okay again i feel like this person could be this person if you have already if you have already cleared this from your energy and you feel light and, and and fresh and brand new and you're you feel like you are already in your new cycle and you don't you don't feel any more suffering any more grief any more pain any more heartache or anything like that right you're in this really beautiful <laughs> glow up flowy energy in in your phoenix rising then this is this person that's coming out of this okay finally once and for all and uh and again they see the cup they're they're coming out of feeling okay not very happy in their life not you know no no options is satisfying to them remember that card that says um they have a thirst for you that no one else no one compares to you that no one else can satisfy craving you more and more it's like this person is uh coming out of illusion coming out of denial and coming out of lying to themselves right getting real with themselves they're they're answering the call they're seeing things clearly they're going through a a, a huge wake-up call a huge breakthrough okay about this cup about this love about this connection and it's like they're clearly looking right at the cup they're coming out of a period of, of contemplation, fantasizing and meditating, but also coming out of feeling bored, unhappy, depressed, discontent, apathy in their life and feeling excited and hopeful. Okay. You may have uh, already re reconnected with this person. For some of you guys, you may have already communicated with this person, seen this person, connected with this person in the physical there's a physical world card there with the pentacle. Okay. And, uh, and, and, and it created a huge change in the frequency and the vibration. And, you know, it activated this person. You activate, triggered them, activated them again. I heard again. Uh, let's see. That's why I got this firecracker card here. It says passion, chemistry, lust, happiness, excitement, holiday, celebration, kissing, <laughs> exhilaration, explosive, and hot sex. <laughs> yeah, like I said, you guys may have already come into some kind of physical union or reunion, or that's what this person is thinking about. <laughs> steamy, steamy, steamy. Tell me about this king of wands. What's going on with this king of wands here, spirit? I'm going to clarify the rest, but I can't help myself. I can't help myself here. All right, can you tell me a little bit about this King of Wands? What's going on with this King of Wands with the Judgment and the Four Cup? That wanted to show itself. Queen of Water. Tell me about this King of Wands. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Majestic. Excuse me, sir. Look at this lion energy. Yeah, man. The man. Look at the star here. Aquarius energy, justice. So the boyfriend, the fiance, this is the masculine energy here that we're talking about, okay? Majestic, authority, self-esteem, pride, and ego, overcoming difficulties, just, fair and just, devoted and heart-centered, making a lion energy, having the courage of a lion, okay? Uh, so yeah, very regal energy here. They're feeling empowered. They're feeling confident, okay? Um, they're starting to feel that way is what I'm getting. Starting to feel more balanced, more at peace within their energy, more clear on what they want. They're seeing it. It's right in front of their face. And it's like, I'm, t I'm tired of being, you know, pinned down. I'm tired of feeling stuck in my life. I'm tired of feeling this way when I don't have to. There's a strong bond, right? A really strong bond with this person. And that's going to probably be the shock Somebody here is going to no longer hold in what they feel. They want to express it right here with this blowing the horn. They may call you. Agreement, pact, 
contract, partnership, trust. There's a lot of trust here that they they trust you, okay? They know that you are a sacred being. They feel, they see, know that you are an earth angel, okay? You are an angel. They know that you are an earth angel. And they feel safe with you, okay? Uh, continuing on, closure here, promise, promise ring, making a promise. You guys have, it feels like you guys have an unspoken promise, right? This right here, promise that we, we're moving this, we're, we're, we're moving to karma waters. We're healing this. We're moving this forward, okay? Patience here is a virtue and patience is power and patience, especially with this lion energy. This person is, has a loyal heart, okay? The heart of a lion, very courageous here, also very compassionate. This person may be very attractive. Like I said, they're a leader. They're a leader. And it's like they, they got this new burst of energy, this new burst of life. Uh, burst of energy and burst of life. They're coming out of this. This person does not want to miss out on this opportunity here with you. Okay. This person does not want to miss out on this opportunity. We have the star card. Aquarius energy. So again, with the hope, right? They could be, in, they could have that in their chart. They may be an Aquarius or could be dealing with one here. But again, this is somebody that's idealistic, original, okay? A detached, a little bit detached, opinionated, intellectual, individualistic, eccentric, assertive, okay? Um, can be cold, <laughs> But again, I feel like this person has thought long and hard about this. Can you please clarify this ring here? Agreement, tax, a partnership. We have here a, a cycle, a cycle, a cycle that's starting, a cycle that's completing. Okay, something is coming full circle. I'm getting this person feels a sense of belonging and wholeness. You are this person's completion. You are their wish fulfillment. There's a sense, like I said, of belonging here. There's a cycle here that's ending in this person's life and a new one that's beginning, charging ahead, moving, grabbing the reins of taking control of your life, moving towards a victory and a triumph that we have the yin yang here. I have direction. I know where I'm headed. I'm asserting my will, um, stepping into my willpower and directing the energy, taking control of the energy. I know exactly where I'm going. I have my shadow and my light balanced out within me i have direction and i'm focused and determined on heading in that direction this person is making a huge life decision it's requiring for them to have the courage of a lion and they're stepping into their true nature into their power clarify death we have the uh the uh, knight of swords seizing the moment seizing the opportunity okay uh coming out of this period of hermit energy being guided from within i also heard whatever somebody said whatever truth steam remember steam is best to not hold in what because it can come out very harsh very hasty very aggressive okay if we hold things in too much right but I do feel like somebody here is said something that created some change, okay? Or is about to say something, or you will say something that's going to create a major change, a transformation. Communication is the key. And again, I'm also getting if this person was in some kind of an agreement in a partnership with somebody, that's coming to a closure, that's coming to an end. That's not where they are fulfilled. Again, an ending. There's an there's ending, 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 three endings. We're coming out of a period of feeling defeated here and, and flowing, trusting our guidance and our intuition. Moving towards this new beginning. Patience really is, you know, quite the quite the beautiful energy, right? So, I feel like this person wants to rush in and tell you this. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. Please. That could be what this sudden impact is. 
Is this communication coming in? You thought that something was over or ended, but it's not. They have lots to say. Tell me about this Knight of Swords with the death card here. Yeah. We have the Knight of the Knight of the Knight of Pentacles. Yes. And the eight of so now we have the slowest moving knight. Okay. And uh, the Eight of Cups here, leaving. Another ending card. Another card of moving on. That's why this, this situation has been moving so slowly. Is because, you know, this person here, they're finally taking charge, it feels like. They're, you know, it's been slow because they have been... This is somebody that here that's very cautious. Very detailed, very organized, and overthinker. Somebody that procrastinates a lot. It feels like that now that it's the end of this procrastination, the night of the end of the obstacles, right? End of delays. So this person is now taking charge, standing their ground, fighting for what they want. They're very determined here, okay? This is somebody that's determined. It's like they 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 want this. They they don't want to feel like this anymore. They want what they want, what they want. And we have here the Eight of Cups leaving behind what doesn't emotionally fulfill you anymore. That's what the communication could be about here, okay? It's like a situation that was moving really slowly is now it's gonna it's picking up momentum, it's picking up speed. Because somebody feels this this huge love, like it's over, it's overwhelming them how much love they feel, how much emotion they feel. It's like you've awakened new feelings, these feelings within this person. It's like their fire, their passion has been ignited. Can you please tell me about this Ace of Cups? That's where they're moving towards, the Ace of Cups. They were slow. They were slow. To, I saw the Seven of Pentacles as a divine timing has been at play. They were slow. You know, to, to take this action here of leaving. Page of, that that's good news that's coming in. I'm telling you, this hail energy is going to be good, family. So good. Somebody's excited, like I said. They're excited, they're enthusiastic about this new beginning. There's a new life in this person. You have awoken a new life in them. Have them lost in a field of possibility. Yeah, have them lost in a field of possibilities. Thinking about the future, fantasizing and daydreaming in daydreamy land, right? Uh, coming out of illusion here and um, reaching out. They're feeling, it's like they're feeling this much love, Ace of Cups, but they, they, they're reaching out very, it's like you have awakened this person's inner child. They're, they're reaching out flirty and playful and in childlike energy. Can I have one more? You have them lost in a field of possibilities. Yeah. Yeah, I have them lost in a field of possibilities here. There's a lot of deep emotions. There's also some fear, some uncertainty. I'm getting butterflies energy here with this page of wands. Tell me about this page of wands here. Major change on Monday. Major Arcanas represents major change that is divinely orchestrated and guided and destined to happen right now in, in our lives, okay? Um, the Minor Arcanas is free will stuff, right? It's changeable day by day, minute by minute, hour by hour. The Majors is... A major event, major change that's taking place. That's, like I said, that's in the universe's hands. A uh, page of wands. It's like being in alignment with what's going on here, what the universe is doing, how the universe is supporting us, is us following our intuition. Okay? So it, it's not, so we're not sitting here in depressed energy, right? So we're not sitting uh, uneasy uncomfortable in this energy so we're not you know it for us to be in the flow and be in this peaceful energy of harmony and flow with the universe the key to that is to align 
with what the universe, that's why it's important, that's why astrology is important as well, is to align with what your guidance, your intuition, and follow it when you feel it, to follow your heart, any overthinking, any self-doubt, any procrastination takes you kind of out of alignment with what the changes that the universe is, is. the universe has your back, and it's trying to take you to these aces, these uh, blessings, the abundance, your dreams, right, your heart's truest desires, it's our ego, that devil energy we saw that tries to hold us back and tries to stop us, tries to keep us feeling helpless, powerless, and hopeless. But it's like you have the willpower and the strength of a lion, you and this person, to defeat that, right? To believe in yourself. This is somebody that's passionate, that's driven, that's ambitious, that they may have lost their mojo or their fire because... They stay too long settling in a situation that diminished their sense of self-worth, their, their self-esteem. They may have been in a, in, a, in a relationship or a connection where they were put down a lot, criticized a lot, blamed a lot, blamed for everything. It's like their self-esteem, their confidence, you know, slowly kept being chipped away. And it's like, again, someone's unconditional love how you see this person there's something about eye contact here uh, you activate each other how you see this person how they see you it's like seeing each other through each other's eyes is now you know it's like you see this person as being the emperor already as seeing somebody that's more than capable of being a good partner for you and they see you you know with starry eyes right like you're beautiful and mystical and majestic and an angel and you know they 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 see the purity of your soul and and your light and it's like it inspires them you know to believe like you are you know that quote that says be 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 the person or how does that quote go be someone uh that people so that people can believe that kindness and good and love and good people still exist or something like that i forgot how that quote goes but something like that i probably have it saved somewhere on my phone be somebody that that you know to show people that good people kind genuine authentic real people really do still exist you know so tell me here about this they want to come out of the cold about this page of wands We have the seven of pentacles. This is has taken a while. I'm also getting you already have um, invested in this already. It's like the seeds you planted in the past is now coming to fruition. It's divine timing now. It's divine timing now. Okay. For this to come to fruition. It's like someone is finally ready. I'm getting or getting ready. We have the two of pentacles weighing things out. Ba this is harmonious change here's the oh wow wow there's the chariot again okay making plans for the future having foresight here's the king of cups okay i, I heard melting melting heart activation feeling a lot of compassion here and courage and happy and giddy and childlike leo energy twice leo rules the house of children right so somebody here is just um, trying to prioritize loose ends, trying to figure out how we're going to make this work, trying to balance out their emotions, even I'm getting, or balance out their finances when it comes to their stability. In the process of weighing things out, this is a card of taking stock. Somebody is done planning, revising, reviewing their life, reassessing and thinking. And they're ready for action. Yeah. Ex <laughs> the answers you seek are coming. Un the unexpected. Unexpected here. Expect the unexpected. It's like, let this person surprise you. 
Like B, allow yourself to be pleasant, pleasantly surprised at the changes that this person is making. Believe in the impossible. I, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to pull from that deck. Angel of the impossible miracles is coming to me. Spirit, tell me. Here's Archangel Raphael. What's the angel here for Monday for the collective? They see you as their whole world. They could be at a distance from you. What's the angel that's with the collective on Monday? How is this angel helping? Magic and mysteries. Behind the veil. Mediumship. Divine wisdom. Illumination. Lots of that. Dreams. Visions and deep dive. So this angel helps to enhance your spiritual gifts. So this person could be waking up to their spiritual gifts as well. Infuse your heart with inner knowing. There's an inner knowing. They are clear here. Psychic, the, the Ace of Cups is psychic abilities and intuition. And reveal the secrets of source. Okay. So we have that. This angel that's with uh, the collective here on Monday. of Angel of magic and mysteries. Some kind of mysteries being un uh, revealed. Yeah, ends estrangement. Angel of mercy. Somebody is getting relief here from this Ten of Swords. Yes, because they're making a different choice. Judgment. They're choosing again. And they're choosing for themselves. What's best for themselves. For their best and highest good. We have creative expression and poetry. This person is very romantic. I help to tune to the frequency of Source. Through sound vibration and music. Singing and poetry. Communicate clearly. This person wants to rush in and talk to you. They have a lot that they want to get off their chest. Okay, this is uh, the fifth chakra, which is throat chakra angel. So they, again, with the, it's important that you express yourself so you don't blow up like a volcano. Can I have one more here on this? Uh, blessings. Let's put the deck to blessings. Protection, attention, love. Your guys are always with you. Uh, tell me more about this king of wands, please. So somebody's getting a huge breakthrough and a wake up call here about about their themselves, their life, the connection, what they want. They're feeling excited. Passion is being ignited and inspired. inspired. Blessings again at the bottom of the deck. Lots of blessings. Let me just go ahead and pull that since I keep seeing it. Uh, can you please clarify this king of wands spirit tell me a little bit more about this king of wands for the collective here home <laughs> at home with each other you feel at home with each other they're coming home yeah cozy warm secure safe then i say that this person feels safe with you they feel at home with you you are home to this person they feel a sense of belonging and wholeness, okay, with you. You see them. You get them. You understand them. You accept them unconditionally. They don't have to, 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 to uh, you know, explain the, the, the language of their soul to you or defend themselves, okay? You get it. You get it. You get why this person does what they do, <laughs> you know? And it's like healing. They're healing right now. Self-care. Be gentle with yourself and your twin flame. Taking time out. Can I have one more for this king of wands? Almost done. Memories. Going down belief systems. Similar or clashing belief systems can bring you together or keep you apart. So again, their belief systems is changing as well. Because they're going through this spiritual awakening and this transformation. This spiritual transformation. Expect major change from this person and in your connection nostalgia they miss you okay reliving the past saying let it go okay so that's what this person is also freeing themselves here from their guilt from their shame from their regret four cups represents regret nostalgia and repetition they're there again they have been in this uh Lost in the field of possibilities, reminiscent about the past, thinking about the future. This person is being guided to come back to the present moment. 
This person is moving towards uh, a life with you here with the with the Knight of Pentacles. Can I get one more on this King of Wands? Yeah, they're taking the mask off. They want to remove the mask they've been wearing and be brave enough, the lion, to reveal their true feelings. Tell me about this King of Wands. Please, Spirit with Judgment and the Four Cups with the Collective here. Wow, this is wonderful. Yeah, they don't want you to, uh, they, again, they have to answer this call because or else they're gonna, you're gonna slip away like you did in the past. They don't want you to slip away. Okay, four, four cups here. You're slipping away. That's like missed opportunity. We have here this, they, they coming out of a period of feeling a lack of faith. Remember we saw the star card. Okay. And mysterious one. They're watching you. They can't read you. You're super mysterious to this person. The mystery of you intrigue them. You keep them guessing and engaged. Very different from the rest. They're in the process of making a major decision here. The devil had them almost in the process of losing faith. But they're getting re-inspired. And then we have slipped away. That's the four cups. They're hearing the call. They're saying, if I don't answer this call. Remember I said that we're only in this energy. A four of cups, five of cups, five of pentacles, all of these friction, challenging, you know, making things, making life harder than it needs to be. When we don't follow our intuition, our, our soul's calling, our higher self, higher levels of, because of our fears, our egos, our traumas, our imprints, conditioning, all of the devil stuff, right? And it's like, though they never had you to them, you'll always be the one that got away. They'll always regret the chances that they make. But the thing is, it's like. It feels like the opportunity with this uh, world card and this Ace of Cups is coming back around for this person. They have a, an opportunity to choose again. And, and if they don't make the right... Again, choices. I can't make this stuff up. There's a choice they have to make. They know the time's not on their side and risk losing you forever if they want. That's the pressure that this person is feeling. That's what I'm getting here. Okay? And they're watching you. They have a very close eye on you. They've been watching your social media to see what you post to get clues on how to approach you. They're getting ready to, that's going to be the hell. They're getting ready to reveal here they are, they're about to blow up in like a volcano. Okay, if they don't get whatever they need to get off their chest here, it's like a confession. So, again, you will slip away if this person doesn't get their act right. If they don't uh, step up, if they don't claim this opportunity that's looking at them right in the face. If they don't make the changes or do the right thing. If they, you know, they will, they, they, uh, again, they will, right? Uh, miss out on this opportunity for good. And then they're going to have to live with that. Okay? It's not going to be on you. It's not going to be on you. And that's, that's the, the pressure that this person is feeling right now. The gods favor you. Oh my God, didn't I say overflow? They can't even take it overflow the cup is overflowing here their heart is overflowing with love so much it scares them because their love for you has no end exactly the gods favor you right here the time is now sir ma'am your prayers have been heard you will succeed beyond vindicated if this person takes listens to the call and they take the action that they're guided to take it's going to be a victory for this person and for you okay so <laughs> It's kind of like uh, that climax, right? When you're, you know, I, I guess to be continued. <laughs> to be continued. This person here is, is at the edge of their seat. They're at the edge of their seat here, okay? <laughs> and they're like really feeling, you know, the, this, this, uh, this bond here that they have with you that is, un, you know, they can't shake it. This cup is, keeps following them around. Just like, just like anything that you're meant to do that you're not doing intuitively follows you around, you know, um, I'm gonna leave it right here, family. What a beautiful, what a beautiful reading and, um, know your comments below. Let me know. Keep me posted. Keep me updated on your, uh, on your love story. I love you guys and I'll see you guys tomorrow. God bless you. Namaste. Much love till next time.